Hey everybody, it's Josh again. Welcome back to Joshua, the power of Eevee. In the last episode, we entered Team Rocket's base and cleared the first three levels. We also defeated Hydragon, Rayquaza, and Mewtwo. And this episode, we're going to try to conquer the rest of Team Rocket's base. Oh, freaking notifications. Anyway, as I was saying, we are now in the sewer system of the base. And since we use Dark Pulse on Mewtwo a lot, we gotta refill our power a bit. We'll also refill Ice Beam. And then heading down here... There's a Sneasel and a uh, Voltorb. Because that Voltorb is guarding the Vax Potion. Okay. Yeah, now we're entering the sewer system, which is very gross. All this dirty water. You think a sewer system would be safer than this, than studs filled with uh, filtrating spikes? Of course, that's Team Rocket for you. We got some chai shows like stirring up the water. I feel sad for these Pokemon who live in the sewer system. Just goes to show you how mistreating Team Rocket Pokemon treats their Pokemon. But it just goes to show you how Team Rocket mistreats their Pokemon that they've captured. Is what I meant to say. Anyway, there was a spike fall there. So yeah, I've also forgotten to mention that all the stages in Team Rocket's base are based off of Wily Castle 2 from Mega Man 2. Uh, another freaking Kadabra. Thankfully he dropped a Lepa Berry, a big one. And now it's time to face the fourth boss of Team Rocket's base. So we've already defeated a pretty sinister Pokemon, a legendary, and the most evil of all Pokemon. So who do we got next? It's Giovanni, the boss of Team Rocket himself. And this and he sent out a Rhydon to try to destroy me. Gotta use Leaf Blade, because it's a rock and ground type. But yeah, one thing I've also forgot to mention is that they respond to types. Like, if you try to use uh, Thunder Beat, uh, Thunderbolt on Rhydon, nothing. Considering ground electric types don't affect ground types. And it's using Rock Throw against me. Now he's got a Seismitoad, a ground and water type. And it's using Bubble Beam. Thankfully it goes in a pattern, so you don't have to worry about getting hit if you stand, like, here or so. And then he has one last Pokemon, a Nido King. That's using Sludge Wave. Thankfully, Psy Shock is the most effective against it. Alright. And let it go. And Giovanni just leaves after defeating his three ground type Pokemon. And the reason I chose all ground types is because he's also a gym leader in Viridian City, who uses all ground type Pokemon, hence his name, Geobody. But anyway, we've beaten the, the leader of Team Rocket. Now on to Phase 5, the Teleporter Room. And you notice this is here. You remember this in Mega Man 2? Guess you know what this means then, right? It's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have to rematch against the Pokemon Masters. Yeah, we have to defeat all the other Pokemon Masters again. But this time, we have different, uh, all the different powers. So starting off, I'm going to be using Aqua Jet. We're going to Flareon's room first. And Aqua Jet is a good sliding move. Like, if you press the, the sliding button, whichever you set it to, which for me it's the C button, then it will automatically be used when it's set. Okay, come on. Alright, Flareon's defeated, but that was the easiest considering water beats fire. Okay, Thunder. A thunderbolt. Vaporeon! And there's no water in her room this time. So it'll be a little bit harder to jump over her attacks. There we go, Thunderbolt killer. Right, next we got Flamethrower, so next let's go face off against Glaceon. 
So yeah, other than that, most of their tactics haven't changed. Like, their moves are the same. Uh, most of their rooms are the same. Except for Vaporeons, considering it doesn't have spikes on the top and it, there's no water in it. Okay. I'm low on Psy Shock, so I'm going to be using Dark Pulse next, so I'll go after Espeon next. Yeah. I'm going to defeat all of these guys again. At least, just like the Robot Masters, at least they're still somewhat of a challenge. Oh, there's Psy Wave. Finally, she uses it. She's too busy using Psy Shock. And there we go. Alright, that's half of them down. Don't have much of Leaf Blade left. So, Ice Beam, let's go after Leaf Yawn next. Face the power of Ice Beam. Funny fact, I think uh, Samurai can also learn Ice Beam. Unfortunately, Ice Beam, you can only fire one at a time. Because it's annoying, kind of like Gemini Laser. Oh. Again, killed by Leafeon. So it's official. Leafeon is my new nemesis in this game. Anyway, let's go ahead and use Moonblast and go face off against Umbreon then. Since Leafeon's being a bit of a problem. Alright, Umbreon's defeated. Still got some Ice Beam left, so I'll try again against Leafeon. There we go. Rise, I ran out. And speaking of running out, I almost ran out of the other powers as well. And still got two left. So I think this would be a good time to use my uh, full restore. All, right, all weapon energy is revived. And now, let's go ahead and get out Psy Shock and go after Jolteon next. Get the other weakness out of the way. Ugh. That Volt Tackle is seriously pretty fast. That Thunderbolt can be annoying as well. Especially if he hits you. And the Psy Shock brings me the Citrus Berry. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, we have one left. Let's get out Leaf Blade and go after Sylvia at last. Oh, Dazzling Blade. That's still a, kind of annoying and blinding. Originally, Dazzling Gleam had a longer time to blind you, but it's been shortened to make the fight a little bit easier. And anyway, now that all eight of the Pokemon Masters have been defeated again, you'll notice this one last Hulk Order opens up. Well... There's another boss waiting for us on the other side. And this specific boss has two phases. And each phase has a different weakness. So for the first phase, we're going to get out Flamethrower. Also, Eevee's up there captured another Meowth machine, like in the anime. Anyway, let's go ahead and use Flamethrower against it. Even though it does look a lot like uh, Why the Machine 4. First phase is down, now right for the second phase. And you notice me opposite in there now. I'm gonna use Thunderbolt, considering you'll notice there's some exposed wires right near the front where that red area is. So you gotta use Thunderbolt there, which is Pikachu's signature move. Looks like Meowth is blasting off again. And Eevee is free! But wait, where's Tom Pig? We still haven't seen any sign of him. Wait. That wasn't the final level, even though it had a skull on it? No, it is not. The true final phase. The secret tunnel. And now we're falling. So yeah, what's up with this tunnel area here? This isn't really a part of Team Rocket's base. It seems like someone drilled through here. But who? <clears throat> Those are pretty long tunnels as well. It's also not that long of a level, and you'll notice there's no enemies here. Anyway, it's time for us to go into this last room. 
It's Tomping! Joshua, you came to save me. Well, of course I did. You're my best friend, after all. I knew you could do it. You must have been through a lot to make it here. Yeah, you're darn right. But they're like 13 levels. After this whole adventure, I think you learned something. And what's that, Tompe? Do you know what you have learned? No, not really. What you just learned is... You're an idiot! Wait, what? Tompig, how could you say that? That's right. I used you to defeat Team Rocket so I could take over their base. What? You planned this? With the power of Team Rocket and Team Magma. You and all of Team Aqua will be history! I can't believe this, Tompig. I thought my Pokemon Masters would do better to defeat you. Wait, you mutated Eevee? And created those guys? Well, if they can't defeat you, I will! Not good! Uh-oh. Here we go! The final boss! Tom Pig! We want to get an Aqua Jet. Because he's got some pretty powerful attacks, and he's pretty quick. Right there, he's Fire Blast and Heat Crash, as well as Ember. Aqua Jet is his ultimate weakness. Luckily, Aqua Jet can go right through his Heat Crash. We did it! Tompig is defeated! Unfortunately, my sprite is blocking his defeated. Yeah, the sprite. Oh well. I'm sorry, Joshua. You should be. I should have known I'd be no match for you. You truly are a great hero. To think that we fight just because we're on different teams. Even so, we can still be best friends. Please, can you forgive me? Don't worry about it, Tom Pig. I accept your apology. I actually thought it was kind of fun. Despite the fact that I got killed a few times. Now come on. Let's go home. Let's go play some video games. And with that, that is the official end of Joshua The Power of Eevee. My very first fan game. And you'll notice that the credits are going by too. So yeah, overall this game took me 16 months to complete. I had to go through a lot of coding, uh, yeah, coding classes in order to actually get this to work. But thankfully I did. So yeah, thank the original guys who made the original sprites. Capcom, Nintendo, the Pokemon Company, Game Freak, as well as a few guys from the Spriders resource. Also, all the original music and sound effects is from Mega Man as well. Mostly from Mega Man's 1 through 3. So yeah, the special thanks to the ones who made the Super Mega Engine. The people who made the original games. The original Mega Man and Pokemon games. The people who helped me out with the music, the sprites, and a few other things. Thomas Fuller, my best friend, for creating Tom Big. And of course, you, for playing my game. This game was created by Joshua0414. 
aka Joshua Corral. That's me. And there you go, in the end, you get to see Eevee, me, and the eight evolutions together as the final picture. But so yeah, getting to play my own fan game with a little bit of commentary was actually kind of fun. And I'm glad you all got to see it as well. So now that you've seen it, I hope you'll go ahead and go download it from my uh, Discord download server from Joshua the Power of Eevee private download server. Anyway, that's it. This has been Joshua with Joshua the Power of Eevee. See you guys later.